ओके लेट स्टार्ट विथ प्रैक्टिस सेट प्रैक्टिस सेट ट्वेंटी सेवन क्वेश्चन वन सिंप्लीफाई आई हैव टोल्ड यू इफ क्वेश्चन से सिंप्लीफाई देन वी हैव टू जस्ट अप्लाई दी रूल एंड इफ इट से फाइंड दी वैल्यू देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द एक्चुअल वैल्यू एक्चुअल वैल्यू हैव टू फाइंड सो फॉर सिंप्लीफाई वी विल जस्ट अप्लाई दी रूल Here we have already seen how to solve this. Base are same and operation is multiplication. This full practice set is based on that. So directly we will apply a raised to m a into a raised to m. Base remains same and index gets added. So seven raised to four plus two is six. Only this much. Since it says simplify, so we are just applying the law. Nothing else, okay. and don't forget to put equal to on every step. Next, minus eleven raised to five multiply by minus eleven raised to two. Again, base are same and operation is multiplication. So if bases are same and multiplication is there, so index gets added. It's so easy. We have already seen this in examples. Now your fraction is there. So six upon seven, the whole raised to three into six upon seven, the whole raised to five. Again, base are same. Now this full fraction is our base. Nothing changes. It's just that instead of a proper integer, it is a fraction. So six upon seven and three and five gets added. Don't forget to put this bracket. It's important. Same. This question number four is also same. Base is same, and index will get added. Yeah. Fifth one. A raised to sixteen into A raised to seven. So A is going to be same. Sixteen plus seven will be added. Now this last one is homework. चलो स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग ओके प्रैक्टिस सेट ट्वेंटी एट इन दिस वी हैव टू अप्लाई आर नेक्स्ट लॉ ऑफ डिविजन बेस इज गोइंग टू बी सेम एंड ऑपरेशन विल बी डिविजन वेन डिविजन इज देर वी सब्रैक्ट द इंडेक्स सो इट्स ए रेस टू टू और ए स्क्वेर और स्क्वेर ऑफ ए Again, five minus eight. Now five minus eight. We have to apply your rule of integer of addition and subtraction. Subtraction is there, so three will come. Bigger number eight, so bigger number sign. Again, your ten will come, but ten will get a bigger number sign of. Minus so p raised to minus ten. Ten minus ten, so ten minus ten is going to be zero. Anything raised to zero is what one. Okay, question number two says find the value. Here we have to actually find the value. So. Again, base are same. Division is there, so there will be subtraction. Twelve minus twelve zero. Anything raised to zero is one. So this is the value. We have actually found the value. Question number two. It is five minus three is seven raised to two. Now this you have to do in next line, huh? I don't have space, that's why I'm going in same line. Seven raised to two means seven is getting multiplied two times. Seven into seven that gives us forty nine. Or these two steps will come in next next line. Again, three minus two, so. Three minus two is going to be one. Anything raised to one is going to be the number itself. Lastly, so 
So 4 we have to multiply 2 times. So the value is 16. See we have actually found the value and in this one we have just applied the law. So it depends on the question which is asked simplify or the value. So it says find the value so we actually found the value in this question. Practice set 29, here we have to apply another law of a raised to m, the whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n, it's that the index will get multiplied, so just directly we have to multiply them, 15 upon 12 the whole raised to 3 into minus 4, so this will give us 15 upon 12 the whole raised to minus 12. 3 4s are 12 plus minus minus. Then this will be 3 4 into minus 2. So 3 raised to minus 8. Then 1 upon 7 minus 3 into 4. So this will be 1 upon 7 the whole raised to minus 12 again. 3 4s are 12 minus plus minus. Then 2 upon 5 minus 2 into minus 3. So 2 upon 5, 2 3s are 6. Minus into minus plus 6. Fifth one, 6 raised to 5 into 4. So 6 raised to 5 4s are 20. Okay, now from question number 6 to 10, it's homework you have to solve on your own. It's similar kind of sum. So, from 6 to 10, those sums are homework. Let's come on to question number 2. Write the following numbers using the positive indices. Here we have to apply this law where base is there and index is negative and we have to convert it into positive one so we just uh, write the reciprocal of the base and index becomes positive so directly we have to do we have to write the reciprocal of the base so 2 upon 7 becomes 7 upon 2 and then the index becomes positive so in every sum we just have to do that simple nothing else and now the 6 upon 1 is basically 6 okay why there is no number is there like nothing is there in denominator when nothing is there we consider it as 1 so this will become 1 upon y the whole raised to 4 